Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got in Wellington. I have a super simple, super easy Dollar Tree DIY utilizing one of these hearts. Now, all I've done, the cool thing is they come just like this, but now instead of gluing or stapling the ropes on, it's like they're gift bags. So what I did is took it off so I could get the tag off, but I want to go in from the back. I like, I like my tags to hang from the back side because it makes them flat on the wall. You do want to, if you're going to use this string, you want to attach it before the next steps. Then you'll need a glue gun, glue sticks, and then I have several bags of these roses. I also have the fireplace, so the cats are here. These are made out of like foam, but they're really pretty. They come in five different colors. I picked up four. I have two white, this peachy pink, this darker pink, and this red. And I'm going to do a little ombre effect. They also had purple. I just picked up one of each of these colors and then two of the white. So I'm going to go white and I'm just going to glue them down. Sorry, that was my foot. But I have some coffee. It's caramel, caramel from Starbucks. Mmm, it's delicious. You can't, I can't get their flavored coffees like that at the store, but I can brew it. These are even from the Dollar Tree. I don't find them challenging at all to work with. But literally, I'm just going to glue, and this is why you want this down, because I want to glue this with these. But... And make sure you're not using a high temp glue gun. Unfortunately, that would probably melt these. And then I'm just gonna lay them out on here. You wanna hold them so that they set up straight. And you're gonna want a fair amount of glue on the back because I don't, they're not even on the bottom, right? And so I decided over here, here's the other fun thing. You can paint this any color you want. I want to see the natural wood behind it. And I'm not, you can obviously use more roses. You're going to see here that I'm trying to make it so I can see the wood. Because I like that look. If you want to completely cover it, I would definitely get probably two packs of each color. Especially whatever this these two, you know, that you're choosing to do. Ooh, I got two more here and I won't even need a whole two packs, but you see how much glue I am using? Um, and let's see, I'm an even kind of girl. So I want to have them, you know, the same on both sides. Cause that's how I roll. And the more glue, you, I mean, obviously, you, oops, you don't want so much glue that it's melting or not standing up. But you want enough that the bottom will flatten. So, yeah, I'm going to speed this up for us and just show you how easy this is. what it's gonna look like you could do a ribbon you could put like a word on here love you could put your stickers I just like it very plain and simple I love it I think it's so pretty and I love that you can see the lattice behind it the wood in here now you can use any of the heart forms you don't have to use this one I just happen to have had it they have some that go this way you could do an ombre that way or they just have like the cardboard heart with or with the chalkboard there's a 
many, many hearts. You could take foam core board and just cut out a heart or any shape that you want. Or you could do XO. But this is how I liked it, and I hope you enjoyed. Here we go. I'm hanging this in my bathroom. I'm going to add some greenery, I think, up top. You could also add some leaves in between, but I hope you love it as much as I do. Super quick and easy DIY. Have a good one. Bye.